Hello everyone, today our topic is how to upload YouTube videos from Google Drive folder. So I am a YouTuber and I'm uploading a lot of videos on my YouTube channel on a regular basis. So I want to automate this process of uploading YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. So for that what I have to do is I have to upload a folder where I have all my YouTube videos that I want to upload on my YouTube channel in Google Drive. So after uploading this folder what I have to do is I have to use my Google Sheet where I have all the SU details of my video. So after using these details and my videos, I'm going to upload them automatically on my YouTube channel. So for that, what I have to do is I have to build a simple connection between Google Drive, Google Sheets and YouTube. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use Trigger and Actions. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Drive. In Action application, first I'm going to use Google Sheets and then I'm going to use YouTube. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can upload YouTube videos from Google Drive folder. So I am a YouTuber and I upload videos on a regular basis and I upload a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel. So I want to automate this process of uploading videos on my YouTube channel. So for that, what I have to do is that in my Google Drive, I have a specific folder for YouTube videos. So in this folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload folders of all my videos. So by using this folder videos, I am automatically going to upload videos on my YouTube channel. And here I have this Google Sheet and in this Google Sheet, I have the details of SEO of my videos. So I'm going to use all these details and I'm going to and I'm going to add these details in my YouTube videos that I'm going to upload on my YouTube channel. So for this, what I have to do is I have to use Pabli Connect and by using Pabli Connect, I'm going to build a connection between Google Drive, Google Sheets and my YouTube channel. So for using Pabli Connect, what I have to do is I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to upload YouTube videos from Google Drive folder. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So for that, I have to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account. So I'm going to find my folder, which is YouTube videos. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Google Drive. So I am going to select Google Drive here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new folder in specific folder will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect Google Drive with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect and I'm going to click on add new connection and I'm going to sign in with Google and now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here and here my connection is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder that I want to use in my Google Drive and that will be my specific folder in which I'm going to upload new folders of my videos. So for that, let me take you to my Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive and in this I'm going to use this specific folder of YouTube videos. So I'm going to map this. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and for selecting the folder, you have to open this drop down and in this you will find all the folders that you have in your Google Drive account. So this is the specific folder that I want to use. So I'm going to select this. So my folder is going to be YouTube videos. Now what I need to do is I need to upload a folder on my Google Drive folder. So for that, let me take you to my Google Drive. And here I'm going to drop my folder. So I have uploaded this new folder in this specific folder of YouTube videos. So I'm going to open this folder. So here we can see I have these three videos in my folder and I have uploaded this folder in my Google Drive specific folder. Now I will go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to click on save and send as token button. So here we can see I have received this response. 
So if you don't get this response instantly, then don't worry. This is a polling based response. And within the 10 minutes, you are going to get the response. And in every 10 minutes, Google Drive is going to find that whether a new folder has been uploaded in that specific folder or not. And if a new folder will be uploaded, then automatically within the next 10 minutes, you are going to get the response of that folder. So this is a polling based response. So you have to wait for the 10 minutes. And in every 10 minutes, Google Drive will send you the new data of the folders. So here I have received this response. So in the response, I have the details of the folder that I have uploaded. So the title of my folder is YouTube videos. And this folder has been shareable, so it has the public access permission. So anyone with the link can access my folder. And you also have to make your folders publicly accessible to upload videos on your YouTube channel. Also, I have the permission of my folder. And in this, I have this ID. So this is the most important ID. And this is the ID that I'm going to use in my next steps. So this is the ID of the folder that has got uploaded in my specific folder. So I'm going to use this ID of the folder and I'm going to get the content of this folder. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up my action step here. I'm going to use Google drive again. So I'm going to select Google drive and now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and list folder content will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect Google drive with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. And as I have already built a connection between Google drive and public connect, so I'm going to use this existing connection. So I'm going to click on save and now. I have this tab of folder ID. So I am going to map that folder ID that I've received from my Google drive response of trigger. So I'm going to click here. So I'm going to map that here. And for that, I have to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open this response of Google drive and this is my folder ID. So I'm going to map this. Now what I have to do is I have to toggle off this response of simple response. And now what I have to do is I have to click on save and send test request button as I had multiple files in my folder. That's why I have toggle off this response of simple response and I'm getting this response in advanced format. So here I have this response and in this I have the details of all the files that I have in my Google drive folder. So this response is in an array format. So what I have to do is I have to process this array and I have to retrieve the data from this particular array. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up one more action step. So I'm going to click here on this add action step button. And now to process my arrays that I've received from my Google drive response, I'm going to use a tool that Pavli offers and that is iterator. Now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and process arrays will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect iterator by Pavli. And now I have to choose my array. So I only have one array from my Google drive response. So I'm going to select that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And by clicking on save and send test request button, what is going to happen is that it is going to process my array and it is going to give me the response of each file that I have in my folder. And I'm going to get the response of all the files one by one. So this is the response of my first file. So I have the file extension, which is MP4. I have the size of my file. I have the name of my file, which is sister.mp4 and also I have the permission ID. So anyone that has the link of my file can access my file. And also I have this web content link. So I have to use this web content link and I'm going to use this link to upload a file on my YouTube channel. So I have received this detail. Now what I need to do is I need to set up my Google sheet where I have the details of all the SEO details of my videos. So I'm going to add one more action step here. And I'm going to search for Google sheet, which will be my action event. So I'm going to select Google sheets here and I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and look up spreadsheet row V2 will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google sheet with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. Now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here and my connection here is successful. Now here, what I have to do is I have to first select my spreadsheet. So for that, let me take you to my Google sheet. So this is my Google sheet and I'm using this spreadsheet of SEO details. And in this, I have all these columns, descriptions, tags, title, image, title, file name. In the spreadsheet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this column of column E, which has file name and by my file name and by my file name, I'm going to use my lookup value and I'm going to find all these details by this lookup value. So I'm going to go back to public connect and I'm going to map these details. So first I have to select my spreadsheet. So I have to open this tab and here I will find all the spreadsheets that are connected with my Google sheet account. And I want to use this spreadsheet of SEO details. So I'm going to select this. Now here I have to give my lookup value. So my lookup value is going to be my file name and I'm going to use the file name that I'm receiving from my Google drive folder. And I'm going to map that here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response of iterator by Pavli. 
and in this I have the file name. So this is my file name. So I'm going to map this. So what I have to do is I have to add those details in my Google sheet. And in that I have to map the same file name that I've uploaded on my Google drive folder. So by using this file name, I'm going to find this in my Google sheet and I'm going to get all the SEO details from that lookup value. So now I have to give my lookup column. So I have to take you back to my Google sheet and this column of file name, which is column E will be my lookup column. So I'm going to take you back to public connect and I'm going to type my column E here. So this will be my lookup column and my end column will be the same column E. And now what I have to do is I have to click on save and send test request button. And here I have received all the details of my SEO details from my lookup value. So this was my tag of my video and this is the description. This is a demo video for Pabli Connect and this will be my title which is Pabli Connect hashtag 3 and my image title will be demo and my file name is shrista.mp4. So by using this file name, I have find my SEO details in my Google Sheet. Now what I need to do is I need to use this SEO details and the video that I have uploaded on my Google Drive folder. I'm going to upload them automatically on my YouTube channel. So for that, I have to add my last action step and here I'm going to use YouTube. So I'm going to select YouTube here and now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and upload video beta version will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I have to connect YouTube with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with YouTube. And now I have to click on continue to give access to my account. And my connection here is successful. Now I have to first select my channel ID. So I have to take you back to my channel. And I'm using this channel of demo channel. So I have to map this in public connect. So let's go back to public connect. And my channel ID is already selected, which is demo channel. And now I have to give the video title. So I have the video title in my Google sheet. So I'm going to use that response of Google sheet and, and I'm going to map that. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google sheets. And this is my video title, which is public connect number three. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I have to give my video description. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google sheets. And this is my video description. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to give the video URL. So I have received this video URL from my iterator response. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of iterator by Pabli. And in this, I have this web content link. So I'm going to map this. So this will be my video URL. And I'm going to use this video URL to upload a video on my YouTube channel. Now I have to give the tags. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Google Sheets. And this is my tag. So I'm going to map this. So this will be my tag. Now I have to give a category ID. So for finding your category of your video, what you have to do is you have to enter the video category ID to be assigned to the video. The category ID can be retrieved by using the list video categories actions tab. So if you want to find your video category, what you have to do is you have to add one more action step here and you have to search for your action application, which will be YouTube. Now you have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and list video categories will be your action events. So you have to select this. And you have to connect YouTube with public connect. So you have to click here on connect and I'm going to use the same existing connection because I've already built a connection between YouTube and public connect. So I'm going to click here on save and here I have to give my country code. So I'm in India. So my country code will be IN and now I have to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I will get all the videos categories for the film and animation. I have the category number, which is one. And for autos and vehicles videos, I have category ID, which is two. And same for the music videos, I have the category ID 10. And for the pets and animals videos, I have category ID 15. So you can find all the categories IDs here and you can use these category IDs in your next step. So I'm going to open this tab and my category ID is 22. So I'm going to type that. Now I have to give the visibility status. So I'm going to open this tab and I want to make my video private. So, I have, so I'm going to select that. So I have filled all the required details. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I have the status of initiated. So this means that my video has been initiated for uploading. Now to check this, what I have to do is I have to go back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to refresh this. And here we can see I have started uploading this video on my YouTube channel. So this was the same title that I have in my YouTube channel, which is public connect three. So I'm going to open this. And here I have the title of public connect hashtag three. I have the description. This is a demo video for public connect. So here by using my Google drive and my Google sheet, I'm uploading this video automatically on my YouTube channel. And by using this iterator, what is going to happen is that one by one, all the videos that I have in my folder is going to get processed by my array and this workflow is going to work and automatically one by one, all these videos are going to get uploaded on my YouTube channel. 
as this is a polling based workflow then it is going to take some time so automatically by some time you're going to see that all your videos will get uploaded on your youtube channel so now let's go back to public connect and here we have built this connection between google drive google sheet and youtube channel in such a way that whenever you will upload a folder in a specific folder in google drive where you have all the videos that you want to upload on your youtube channel then automatically by using those Google Drive folder details and the details that you have in your Google Sheet of SEO, you are going to upload videos on your YouTube channel automatically. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Drive and my trigger event was new folder in specific folder. Then I have set up my action steps and first I have used Google Drive and here my action event was list folder content. Then I have used iterator by Pabli to process the arrays that I have received from Google Drive. Then after this, I have used Google Sheets and in this, my action event was lookup spreadsheet rows v2. Then in the last, I have used YouTube video and first I have list my video categories and then I have uploaded video on my YouTube channel. So this is how I have successfully built this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.